Hey there, Rachel Kelly, God's Billionaire. I want to shoot this quick video for you and share it with you some about seven tips on how to build a business relationship on Facebook. One of the first things you want to do is make sure you have a picture that's smiling, you're looking at the camera, you're looking straight ahead in the eyes of the person who's considering whether or not they want you as a friend. And then also you want to go down here to your info tab once you fill that information in and you can put like your whether you're a CEO of a business and I even found where you can actually put a link to a website if you want to put that there also in the once you put your employer information there. Also what schools you've gone to if you want to you can put in a religion or your religion uh, and then you can do like music books different books you like movies things of that nature okay and then down here they're going to give you an opportunity to fill in your basic information. I like to pretty much explain myself so that people can know who I am and where I'm coming from. You could choose to have your phone number here or not. I choose to have mine here because I'm here for business, pur business purposes. And I also have my website at the bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. One of the other things is I probably recommend that you at least a couple of photos I would put in here just so that people can know that you are real. Um, those are just some photos. And then let's go up. So I want you to remember that Facebook is it's like a party. It, it, it's a party. It's um, a place where people get together and they socialize and they share uh, entertaining things, things about their family, their friends, encourage one another. It's, it's not a place where you just throw a sign up and say, hey, come do business with me. Uh, most of us would not go to a party with a billboard on us, hanging on us and saying, hey, come on, let's go party, let's go party. Not let's go party, but hey, come do business with me, not at a party, because no one's going to pay you any attention. And basically that's what happens when you constantly put up your uh, your links and your posts. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it as long as you do it in moderation but it's not recommended that you do it all the time. The ratio is suggested is the 80-20. So for like every eight posts about something social media-ish, I had never heard of that word before, but it sounds good, uh, then 20% of the other. So every two or three afterwards can be something about your business opportunity, a conference call, something of that nature. Okay. Pretty much what I do is, let me see, who do I have up here that's wanting to be my friend? Okay, I have um, Alan here. He wants, hi, Rachel, I saw you on the OMG room. Okay, I, I know that Alan is more than likely a network marketer. And I like it because he sent me a message. I, I can see his picture here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go over to Alan's page. Sometimes I, I will get requests from people who I just don't know if I want to be a friend with them or not. And, Honestly, there's something that you just really don't want to be friends with. But, you know, I'm looking here. Let me see. He's, I see he's from Kansas. He's married. And he's got a college. He's a Christian. That's another thing I have in common with him. Uh, we, yeah, music. Okay, we, we like some of the same books. Uh, some of the same movies. So, you know, this right here is what they call attraction marketing. Being attracted to someone that is similar have similar interests as you and he's put his little information here um, about him and his family so far I like what I've read about Alan so what I'll do is I'll go respond to a friend request and I'll let me see I, I want to add him to one of my lists my first two weeks and then I'll confirm him and then once I confirm him I'll go over to his inbox and I'll just leave Alan a nice little letter. You know, I can say hi. Hi, Alan. Oops, definitely don't want to spell his name with a small letter A. That wouldn't be good. Thank you for your friend request. I noticed you are in network marketing and i probably should have read it i think if, i'm going to just go back and say internet marketing because 
um, and then I would say something like, how long have you been in the group? Because he said he uh, met me, at, he saw me one of my posts in the group. So, I, and all I want to do is just be sure to ask another question, engage a conversation, and we'll do this probably for a couple times and then after a couple times I will my goal is to uh, get Alan on the phone and have a conversation with him and see if there is something that I can help him with some uh, suggestions um, oftentimes I'll run into people who are uh, overwhelmed and they just kind of need some help and some direction and so that's my goal and if they don't you know if they don't have a business opportunity then of course, you know, after I get a chance to know them, then I um, invite them to come and take a look at what I am doing. But Alan looks like he's pretty positive. He li he listens to Tony Robbins. And so I, I see some pretty good stuff here. So I'll just wait for Alan to send me a message back. But after he sends me a message back, we'll go back and forth a couple times. And then I'll say something to the nature of, hey, Alan, um, we seem to have a, quite a bit in common. I think you'd be a great person to network with. Here's my phone number, and I give them my phone number, and then I like a period and say, what's yours? So that's how I'm actually able to get people on the phone, and it's very effective because they feel like if she's willing to give up her information, then, you know, that it should be okay for me to give up mine. Doesn't always work that way, but I've had some pretty good results with just that alone. Okay, um, once you get them on the phone, your goal is to not sell them something, not promote your business opportunity, but on Facebook, your goal is to connect with that person and build a friendship with them. We're not here to sell, but you may be able to be of assistance. And I have met many of my friends here on Facebook and who, you know, I've been able to help quite a few of them and then they have some things that they'll share with me. And sometimes it may be no more than a mastermind group you know no one's no one joining anyone just masterminding you know helping each other out I have one of my friends uh, we at least probably connect at least once a day and we just kind of you know hold each other accountable and kind of let each other know you know hey we're doing this or I'm doing that and it's really really grown to be an awesome wonderful relationship and we now you know if I have a program that I think is really good I'll introduce it to her and she may join me and she may not same thing vice versa so it just kind of works that way and so what you're doing here is you're building relationships um, once you get on the phone it pretty much you know you hey like for example I would say um, to the same guy that Alan I just sent him a message but if he, if he was on the phone hey Alan this is Rachel from Facebook uh, how you doing today you know just kind of like hey how you doing and then from there I would go to you know, just kind of like asking him a, a question about maybe his family. It's called form, family, occupation, recreation, and then the last is message. So the goal is to find a little bit about his family, find out about his occupation, maybe his recreation, recreation, and then deliver the message that you have for him. Also, <clears throat> uh, when you, what you want to do is you want to get to know your prospect. Oftentimes we think that we know our prospect. And we don't. This could even be for your friends and family. Let's say you're calling them to share your business with them. You don't want to call them, hey, this is Rachel and I'm trying to sell you this. Oftentimes we don't even know as much about our families as we should know. So it's really a, a, a good place to really begin to build some relationships. And then the other thing I want to recommend is I've heard this two ways. Some people say to, you know, only connect with people who are like you, who have similar interests. Others um, recently have said to broaden your horizons. And, you know, you don't necessarily have to meet someone that's just like you. And, you know, I after I um, heard this last time, I thought, you know, that's a good idea because for example, I want to, I'm a mom and I have three children, one of them with special needs. 
and the type of people that I that I my circle of influence is more moms, you know, possibly some that have special needs children. And so as far as I know, none of them golf. But one of the things I want to learn how to do is golf. So if I find someone in my town on uh, uh, Facebook who's a golfer and, you know, and I want to kind of, you know, I think I have some things in common that I may very well connect with this person. Let's see here. This guy is in Florida. Well, he's, I don't know if he's, a, uh, let me see Tom. He's in Florida. Tells me what school he went to. If you are helping enough people get what they want, you'll get what you want. Okay, I know he's kind of into the uh, personal development, possibly network marker. He's viable, Mormon, Ten Commandments. So I kind of know some things about him. He's in interested in family bowling, internet marketing. Okay, so we have quite a bit of common there. Some of the same books. Okay, so yes, Tom and I probably would connect really, really well. I was looking for up here where possibly he said he was uh, into golfing. Oh, he, there he is. Okay, golf. See, since so I really probably want to connect with Tom for more than just um, a business, you know, who, if he lived in Toledo, I'd really, really want to connect with him because possibly he could be the person that connect me and show me how to golf. You know? um, and so I would do the same process. I would still build a relationship and talk to Tom. And then from there, you know, we get on the phone and we, you know, see if we could be of assistance to one another. Okay. Uh, the next thing that I want to talk to you about is you want to get good at asking questions. And I think there's quite a few people in this industry that that will do this. You know, they'll get on the phone and the prospect is speaking or answering your question. And then after, while they're answering your question, you're thinking, Oh, what's the next question I need to ask? I need to ask another question. What should I ask? What should I ask? Instead of tentatively listening to what they're saying, you want to make sure you're listening to what they're saying and then responding as if you were listening and responding to one of your friends. And, you know, always keep a piece of paper and pen down so you can jot down some notes. And so the next time you connect with that person, you can refer back to what your conversation was about. So getting good for with asking questions is uh, asking questions is really a key component because it allows you to get to know more about your prospect and also remember those things. Uh, last but not least is um oh before I go there I wanted to say you know one of the products that has really helped me with asking questions is going to be Jeffrey Combs. I don't know if you're familiar with him or not, but I think something like. His website is Golden Mastermind. I may have that wrong, but if it's someone has the right um, information, if you could just leave a link down and let everybody know where that's at. But he has some really, really good information on helping you to learn how to ask questions. In the last portion of connecting and building your relationship on uh, Facebook is going to be delivering your message. After you have um, spoken to the person on Facebook, you've identified your pain as if they have one. If they don't have one, then possibly you might have a pain that they can help you with. But you've identified their pain, and now your your goal is to be able to uh, provide them a benefit or a solution. And your benefit or your solution could be something as um, simple as just making a suggestion, or maybe sending them to your website or a conference call, whatever it may be. You know, you're going to want to provide them a solution to whatever the problem that you identified at the beginning of the conversation. And that's why you want to form them. And that is finding out, you know, their why. Why are they doing what they're doing? Why do they want a home business? Why are they doing uh, on Facebook day and night? Or why are they surfing the internet, internet all night long looking for a home business opportunity? These are things that once you identify them, you will be able to then help them provide a solution for them. Um, there is some new Facebook training that's coming out. And so what I want to do is I want to, if you're over on YouTube, if this if this is a, this video is on YouTube, then there will be a link under the bottom. You can just click over to that link there and um, it's going to take you to some social media training that I will be keeping you up to date on. And there's actually some 
more Facebook training in our back office that I'd be glad to share with you absolutely free. Um, and then also, um, I can, um, if, you, if you're here on this Facebook, just let me know. Say, hey, Rachel, with that link, and then I'd be glad to give you that link. Until next time, my friend, thank you for taking this time to listen. And if you have any additional questions, feel free to send me a message. Feel free to connect with me. I'm here to help you. Uh, absolutely what I'd love to do. Have an awesome, awesome day. Goodbye.